Screw me, huh? Finally, we're getting somewhere. Uh, he has long black hair, wears a lot of denim, uh, looks like a real punk. Probably doesn't go outside very much. He's really pale. Uh, All right. Could you tell us any more about him? He's got these eyes. They're uh, always glaring at you. It's it's really freaky. All right. We got something. Now we can find this creepy son of a... Boys, Mr. Parson. Captain Reynolds. <laughs> Captain Reynolds. Captain Reynolds, good to see you again. I can't say the same to you, Paul. It seems like every time I see you, you've been fondling a dead body. It's probably because every time I see you, I have been fondling a dead body. <clears throat> right. Boys, these murders have been causing a ruckus. I'm getting calls. Local news is going insane. And Fox News is calling us the murder capital of the world. We have to solve this now. Captain, we have some new leads. Paul has been able to help us find out who it might be. If you just give us some more time, Cap, we can nail this creep before he strikes again. I promise you. I'm sure you could, but frankly, I can't make it look like this investigation is going nowhere. And no offense, Paul, but your consultation doesn't really sit well with this town. I'm giving you both 48 hours to figure this out, and if you don't have it figured out by then, then I'm putting you both on parking duty for six months. Yes, Captain, I understand. Good. Now get on it, boys. Mr. Pearson. <sighs> All right. So let's get back to work. All right. We know what he drives. It's a dark, late 90s model Jeep Cherokee. And we roughly know what he wears and what he looks like, thanks to Paul. Yeah, you're welcome. And now we just have to find him. Since Jeeps are pretty common in this area, all we have to do is keep an eye on the roads. And to find someone who matches his description, all we have to do is haul him in for questioning. Right. Now we gotta go hit the streets. Alright, so what about me? You're gonna go home and wait. You're a consultant, not a full-time cop. <sighs> Great, here we go again, full circle. I'm sorry, Paul. It's just the law. even going on with this? Oh look, a green Jeep. And another green Jeep. Welcome to Colorado. Here's your green Jeep. Why don't you go drive it in front of the police looking for the black Jeep that runs people over? What if Paul got it wrong? What if it was really green? That sure would be unfortunate. Jim Wilson speaking. Wilson, I don't see anything on the highway. Maybe we should regroup and try a different tactic. Yeah. Pick me up, will ya? I don't think we're gonna find this guy hold, in time. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Aaron Blake, ECPD. How may I? Aaron, it's Paul. I found the guy in the black Jeep. Damn, where? I'm following him down County Road 21. He was uh, getting groceries. Okay, Paul, I need you to stop following him. No way in hell. Paul, you are a civilian. He's a dangerous criminal. Stop following him, it's too dangerous. Alright, then catch up to me and you can follow the son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! <sighs> County Road 21, step on it. So, does your psychic do this often? 
He did when we were working together in Denver. He's kind of an idiot if you haven't noticed. He's not that bad once you get to know him. We just have to make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Well, that might be a little bit of a trial. <sighs> following me before. You know what? What's up? What you following me for? Okay. 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 Play some games with me. Play some games. Play some goddamn games. <laughs> you wanna play some games? <laughs> oh, this was a bad decision. Play some games with me, huh? Yeah. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs>